Hey everyone, this is Gizzo 24 coming to another review. Um, in my last review of the Tokyo Changer, which I uh, uploaded earlier, I um, I said that I was going to do a retro review of the uh, uh, of the go on here, um, of the Patterns RPM High Octane Megazord, um, and I, I never reviewed it before, so I thought I'd do it, um, and then. Tomorrow I'm going to do Lost Galaxy Megazord, and I'm just really tired, so I'm probably going to head to bed um, after this review. So, uh, sorry. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to do a review of the Hawk 10 Megazord, and then um, upload that, and then tomorrow I'll do Lost Galaxy Megazord. And I'll see if there's anything else I have to review. If there's anything else I want to review, I'll review that too. Um, I think I need to read the Morph Embrace. Possibly. I might read the Morph Embrace. It depends. Uh... Anyway, um, yeah, so, uh, I'll review the, the Smegazord, and then I'll review the Lost Galaxy Megazord tomorrow. So, yeah, um, anyway, <clears throat> okay, so, I don't have the box, uh, the box is in storage, so I, I, don't, I don't have the box. Um, I do have, I'm just gonna go over the Zords, um, the, I'm gonna combine them, the weapons and everything, and then all that good stuff. So, let's, let's start. So, here's the Eagle Racer. Um, this is Scott's. Scott or the Red RPM Rangers Zord. See, this little, has a little cartoon anime eye type things. Um, as you know, in Engine Sentai Go On, your uh, engine speed or uh, they they talked. The uh, the engines, of course, talked um, from uh, what's it from? Engine World. Or something? Engine World. Engine World. I think it's Engine World. Something like that. Anyway, you can see he has like little um. His engineer, and here's the head for the Megazord, actually. You see the, the uh, Golanger slash RPM symbol. I still have the tape from that. It's kind of weird. I still have the tape on this. I don't know why, but anyway. You see the, uh, the, uh, the Red Rangers symbol here, number one. It, these are stickers, so I guess that's, uh, okay. It rolls. So that's, that's fun times. Um, you can see the uh, fact that here it's green, nice and green. You have little holes here for the future transformations. Um, the arms, um, you can do this like the thing from the show, where, like you have the arms coming down, it's like, you know, have them flying and do damage and all that good stuff. Yeah, so you can do that, that's your transformation. Um, and you can open them up by splitting this part, by opening it. And then inside, um, oh yeah, you see a little uh, symbol here, you can see it here. Um, this is your transformation as well. Um, if you open this up, I actually have an engine soul. Um, so, um, here's the engine soul that it comes with. Um, it, it doesn't do anything, like, it's just really flat. Um, so that's nice. Um, has the Red Ranger symbol here. So that's, that's it. And they don't do anything, they're just really flat, and so I guess that's nice. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's actually it for him. For this guy. Okay, so, uh... We're gonna go in order. Next is the bear crawler. Like bear crawler. <sighs> it's late. I'm sorry. Lion hauler. This is number two. This is number two. The, the lion hauler. This is Flynn's the Zord, or the um, Red RPM Ranger. Um, engine Busan. And the uh, wait. Engine Busan Busan. Engine bus on. Something like that. Anyway, um, so you see it looks like a, a lion, his little mane and stuff, like nice eyes. And you see a little uh, go under symbol there, it's also a sticker. Um, here it says, you, you can see it, it says O2 Power Ranger. That was kind of funny on the package, it said, o, uh, it said go under. That's That was pretty funny on the, on the box, on the packaging. You can see that, that's kind of funny. It rolls. That's fun times. Um, up here, you, uh, you should have compartments. And uh, one is for the engine sole. If I can get it out. Come on. Okay, here's the engine sole for uh, the lion hauler. Really cool. Once again, flat. Um, really flat. Doesn't do anything. I think the ones in the... Uh, the, uh, the engine soles in Goanger... Um, have electronics. Uh, the electronics were in the engine soles, but uh, there's nothing in. There's no electronics in this. So, um, and then 
Um, this is the sword that comes with. I'll go over that one and do the transformation. This is the sword. I'll go over that later. But yeah. Um, this thing is has a lot of um, ports. I mean, there's a port here. There's one here for transformation. Yeah, right there. There's one here. Uh, red had a few of them. I think there's, yeah, there's one here too. New transformation. There's one here for the uh, new transformation. So that's cool. Um, oh, forgot the wheels. Um, that's great. Here's the wheels. I forgot the wheels. So, uh, yeah, uh, I forgot the wheels. Um, sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, that's it rolls, so that's fine. What I like about this guy is that his uh, uh, number two isn't, isn't sticker, isn't a sticker. It's painted on, so that's good. Um, yeah, that's it for him. And last, but certainly not least, these, the, this is the bear crawler. This is the bear crawler. It's a nice little uh, anime cartoonish eyes. I think uh, Dr. Dr. K was like, she created it in RPM. If you remember RPM, it's been a long time since RPM came on, but if you remember um, Dr. K, you know, she likes big cartoony eyes and anime eyes and stuff, so that's cool. And she has the bunny slippers and stuff in one episode. That's cool. Uh, anyway, um, the number three, of course, uh, or, oh wait, this is a uh, Summer's Zord, of course, um, yellow RPM Ranger. You see the number three. It's it's uh, painted on, so that's good. Enough sticker. Um, it's, it's really cool. I'm not sure exactly what kind of vehicle this is. I think it's like a buggy or something. Anyway, um, it's sort of buggy. And uh, actually, this will become the shield later on. The shield when it uh, you combine it, and then uh, you get this big thing on top for transformation. It's kind of um. Mm. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, um, you know where the yawning, I apologize. Uh, anyway, you see the little thing up on top, and this is transformation. So, it, it gives it kind of a, an unappealing appearance, actually. Um, and if you look in here, here is the engine sole. You can see the number three. It's flat, again, it's kind of weird, but it's whatever, I guess. So, it's store, you can store it in here. There's no way to, there's no way to store it, so when you actually transform into the Megazord mode, you can't have the engine, so you just got to set it aside, which is kind of a waste, actually, if you think about it. Um, okay, so here we go. Um, let's combine it into uh, Hot 10 Megazord, and then, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so first thing you do, you come up here, it's the same thing you did when you, when you got the engine saw out. Just pull it apart, and then pull the arms apart, and then go click in place. Do the thing this side. Like so. Okay, and then you have this. And then actually one thing I forgot to mention. It, is if you turn the nose like this, um, this is if, it's a, it's a future transformation. Like, I think the uh, I think the shark zord or something, or the wolf zord, whatever that is, could, uh, or the, whatever that was. Uh, black and green zords can combine with this and uh, could combine with this and make the extra arm or something. And, uh, but yeah, uh, just turn it here. And here's the arms, of course, so just pull out the arms. And do the same thing to this side. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, crap, I forgot to mention. Um, uh, his wings, uh, I forgot to mention he has wings, and uh, when I was, uh, reviewing his wings, I could fly and stuff. I forgot to mention that. Uh, I'm so sorry. I just, I just realized that now, I forgot to mention the wings. It's late. I, that's my excuse. But, um, yeah, and what you do, you just pull up the uh, the head there, and there's the there's the head of the Hatchet Megazord. So, over that. And then, with uh, blue, you uh, you push in the wheels. Okay. You pull out the legs. Hmm. Wait, what the? Come on. There we go. Sorry about that. That was weird. Um, you pull the feet. I'm sorry. Uh, you pull the feet. And then pull this down. Like that. And then you have the torso. That's good. Okay, and then all you do to yellow, which is really easy, you just 
pull it up and then type in install. You can set this somewhere. Um, and then put it there. Now this little, um, this little, uh, this, this, this little things here. Uh, you can. Uh, this is how you connect the the Bear College of Line Hardly. You can see that um, there's this little uh, um, ports, I guess, little ports here, um, or little like rail type things. Just plug it in. Make sure they're lined up. And wait until it clicks. Oh, there's like the cooking. Um, come on. There we go. Okay, so uh, okay, so that's good. So there we go. Go over that. Um, and then just um, you see where back here, just slide this part into yellow onto the the bear crawler, like so. And there you go. And you can plug uh, you can plug this in. There's little holes in the back. You can plug the uh, put the back here. You can plug this in with the I mean these pegs. There we go. Um, and then I showed you earlier with the sword, just pull out the sword. And then you can put, um, just fold it out. And then you have the uh, the blade here. Then you have the, the, uh, um, the, the hilt. You have the hilt here. Plug it in to either, uh, to either arm, it doesn't matter. And there you go. This is how it's in Megazord, and it's in a combined form. Pretty cool, or, or Ingeno. I think, um... I think Ingeno looks very similar to this, except for, uh... I, I think the hands are actually, you have to, like, open and close. The hands open and close, and that's kind of difficult with the, with the sword. I think the swords are bigger, or the, the mech are bigger in, uh, in, in Ingeno. I do not have Ingeno, so I cannot compare them, but... Anyway, um... So you can also pull the back off. So let's do that. Well, that works, I guess. Anyway, um, <laughs> that was nice. Um, Yeah, um, anyway, um, if you go here, uh, it's still, this is the holes here, this is the holes on his arms, and there's little, uh, there's little holes here on the, on that, and just, uh, plug them in to the holes. And then... And you have a shield. You have a uh, nice little uh, sword and shield mode. So that, that's pretty cool. Um, here's a view of the back. So that's good. Um, what's in fully secured? That's weird. Okay. So uh, yeah, this in uh, it's, there's really not much more to it. Um, I've had this thing for a really long time, um, since 2009, so it's, it's uh, yeah, uh, that's nice. But yeah, uh, here's how to make this one in, in its full, um, awesomeness, I guess. Um, I don't know if you can find this guy, or you can find this guy, it's probably, like, really expensive, but, um, it's actually a really great me uh, Mega Sword, it's actually really great, I actually like the car theme, because it reminds me of Turbo. So I do really like this Megazord. Um, if you buy more of the Megazords from this season, I think there's uh, the uh, Valve Max, um, the the, uh, the Paleo Max, and the 
Sky, wait, what's it called? Oh, what's it called? Um, Sky Rev? So, wait, what's that called? Um, Jim and Jimma, or, or Gold and Silver's Megazord. Um, I think it's Sky Rev. Um, I can't remember. I can't remember what it's called. Um, but you can combine all those into the the super version, the ultimate form. I can't remember what the ultimate form is called. Um, I can't remember what the, what the ultimate form is called. I haven't watched RPM in a long time. Um, I apologize. Um, if you know, you can leave in the comments or something if you know, because I have forgotten. Um, probably remember later on, which is something that happens with me. I'll remember it later on, but I'll forget right now, so that's great. But uh, yeah, that's um, that's so much more for the review. This is pretty much it. Um, I just wanted to do a review over uh, the Hot the Megazord, and I uh, hope you enjoy the review. Um, as always, you can uh, like and comment, whatever you want to do. Um, as always, never read comments. I hope you like the review. Um, I will post the Lost Galaxy Megazord review probably tomorrow. Um, I'm going to go get some sleep. I have to get up early tomorrow, so um, I'll, I'll do that tomorrow. Um, I keep saying tomorrow. <laughs> but, um, excuse me. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do the Lost Galaxy Megazord review tomorrow. Um, hmm, I think, I don't know what else I can do. I think that's, maybe the Morph Embrace, maybe. Um, I have to pull it, I'll, I'll have to pull it out actually because I'm, um, I'm packing up. So I'll have to pull it out of the, uh, uh, the stuff and then review it and then put it back in. So I, I don't know if I'll review it or not, maybe. It, it, I, I don't know though, it really depends. Anyway, I'm rambling on too long. Um, yeah, I hope you like the review, like, comment and all that good stuff. And uh, thank you for watching, and this is Ghost of 24 signing off.